Hey guys, it's Zach from MooseSkill.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the dumbbell clean. Now, if you've done the barbell clean before and you have some experience with this, this video is going to be a little bit more review than anything else. But if you've never done a clean before, I actually recommend starting off with the dumbbells. They're a relatively friendly and easy way to start to learn the movement. Let's start by understanding what the clean is. What I'm doing is I'm learning to use my hips to generate power and momentum for the weight. So even though I'm holding the dumbbells in my hands or holding a bar in my hands eventually, what I'm not doing is pulling or lifting the weight with my arms. I'm using my hips to generate speed and momentum for this weight and then I'm manipulating my body around the weight. This is why this is, takes so long to learn. It's a, it's a highly skill-based movement. There are people who spend lifetimes trying to perfect it, so don't get too discouraged if it takes a little bit longer than one afternoon to start to figure it out. All right, first thing I wanna do is actually work without the weights. I just wanna work on our start position for the clean. I'm gonna have my feet directly underneath my hips, toes facing forward, and I'm gonna have my hips driven back. Now I wanna keep my midline nice and rigid, and as I push my hips back, almost like I'm starting a deadlift, I'm feeling some tension in my hamstrings. This is our start position. I actually don't really recommend going much lower or any lower for the dumbbells. You'll see people start from the ground, but for, for the most part, it really only makes sense to start from the knees for what we're doing with the dumbbell, which is learning to do this kind of hang power position. So, feet underneath the hips, shove my hips back, and the first thing we're gonna do is without any weight, I'm gonna relax my arms and I'm just gonna jump. Okay, hips back, take my time at the bottom and jump. This is the majority of the movement. This is where the majority of the power for the clean comes from, is me opening my hips in a really explosive, aggressive manner. The next step is going to be to shrug at the top of that extension. And what I'm gonna try and do this time is not really leave the ground. I'm gonna try and transfer more energy into my shoulders by doing this really aggressive shrug at the top. So you'll notice my feet won't really leave the ground. My heels might, my toes might leave a little bit, but I'm, I'm just kind of popping and coming up. So hips back, I'm going to jump and shrug. And you'll notice I didn't really go up that high, but it was really aggressive and there was a kind of a snap to it. Hips back, jump and shrug. I want you to pick up your dumbbells and I want you to try this now with the weight. Same idea, jump and shrug. Hips back. Jump and shrug. Keep your elbows loose. I want to see the dumbbells kind of float up next to you. Don't confuse this with pulling. I'm not pulling the dumbbells up with my arms. I'm jumping. I'm just kind of guiding them up by letting my elbows bend. Hips back, jump and shrug. So now you're starting to experience what it's like to have that dumbbell move on its own after you put the energy through, uh, from your hips, through your shoulders, into the weight. Don't yank the bar up, don't yank the dumbbell up. The next thing I wanna work on is actually how we're gonna get underneath the, uh, the weight, and this is gonna be footwork. After I've jumped, after I've done this triple extension of ankles, hips and knees, and I have my shoulders up in my ears, I'm going to need to drop underneath this weight. Okay, and I'm gonna do that by pushing my hips back in a squat position and dropping my feet out, ideally into my squat stance every single time. So, get up on your tiptoes, shoulders in your ears, and drop. Again, on your tiptoes, shoulders in your ears, and drop. And notice what I'm doing, I'm bringing my elbows up as quickly as I can, okay? And by doing that, I'm getting used to pulling myself down underneath the weight. Up nice and high, and drop, okay? Now it's time to put it all together. Take the weights, relax your arms. Hips go back, I'm going to jump, shrug, and then drop underneath the weight. Again, hips back, jump, shrug, and drop. At this point, I really recommend videotaping yourself, and I want you to look for one specific fault that we see a lot. And this is folks who are way too eager to get underneath the weight, 
So they end up never opening their hips all the way. Remember, the hips is where we're generating the power. So if you don't open your hips all the way, you're gonna be making up for that, most likely in your arms, and most likely by curling. So if you notice you're doing a clean and you look kind of short and muted, you never really get tall, th that's what's going on. We'll see this a lot. It kind of looks like this motion. Push the hips back and people just swing the weight up in front and you'll notice I never opened my hips. When you do this well, it should really almost feel effortless. The weight should really fly up to your shoulders quickly and it might even surprise you a little bit. You might actually be going too light. I really recommend finding a weight that's gonna challenge you. Another fault we wanna really make sure that we avoid is any type of curling or swinging of the weight. And we see this a lot. People get back and they swing the weight in, weight in this big arc. Notice what I'm doing. The weight comes straight up and I am moving my arm around the dumbbell. So ideally, the dumbbell has this really nice vertical path. Like everything else that we do here, we really recommend that you take your time with this, work on the fundamental pieces. Record yourself or have a friend watch you or work with a partner. It helps to have another set of eyes on you, even if it's just a digital camera. I hope this helps you guys. Have a good one.